Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Normally I do some sort of kind of quirky intro. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot today. And to be quite honest, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> I hate myself. Let me get to the review. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Um, so today I'm gonna be reviewing a uh, Savion Blanc. It's from Chile. It's called the Santiago Station. Um, it is from Valle Central. I'm assuming I'm saying that correctly because I suck at languages. Um, it's a 12.5% uh, alcohol by volume. It's $5 uh, per bottle. And, uh, uh, well, $5 per bottle at total wine plus or minus a buck or two, depending on where you're getting it from. Uh, and um, I just noticed that this is station in the name. I just did uh, the Mendoza Station Malbec. What is with South American wines having station? I don't get it. If you know, please leave me a note in the comments below because this is just something I picked up on. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and crack it open and do uh, the review. Screw top, fantastic. All right, so looking at it, it's a very light color uh, for the wine. See, it's kind of hard to even get it on the camera at all. Um, I would say it's a very light straw, really not much to it in terms of color, great clarity. Uh, going from the smell, ooh, that is very floral, very, very floral. Um, Maybe like an apple to it. Um, ooh, it's there's just just a lot there. It's 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 a it's a very strong nose. Uh, it, it smells very flowery. I can't really pick much out of it. No oak. No 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 anything. Um, doesn't mean it's bad, it just means very, very strong smell. Okay, let me go ahead and do a taste. All right, it's a $5 wine. So, at $5 and below, I normally have sort of red flags. Um, in this case, rightfully so. It's not bad. I would say it's an eh. It's not a never again. It's an eh. Um, but it's more leaning towards the never again. Um, it's very, very light body. Uh, and well, not not light body. It's a, technically a medium body wine. Um, but it just has, other than the floral bits you get in in the taste and in the nose it's it's just it doesn't have much to it it's very simplistic even slightly watery um who if you drink too much and you keep it for too long swallowing it the acid really hits you in the back of the throat um uh, it's, I'm gonna change my rating. It's not an eh. It is an ever again. It's, it's, it's schizophrenic. It, it's, it's all over the place. It wants to be floral. It wants to be acidic. It wants to be creamy. And, and, and like you can tell there's like a vanilla in the back of it. It wants to be, um, it wants to be a Sauvignon Blanc. It wants to be a Chardonnay. It wants to have body. It wants, but it doesn't. It wants to have flavor. It can't make up its mind. It's, yeah, it's just, I'm a little bit sad. I was hoping I would find a Sauvignon Blanc at $5 from South America that I could be on board with. Now, I will say, 
screw top gives you some points. I love screw top bottles. I think they are, are the way that we should be going in the future. Um, I love the label. The label actually feels very nice. Um, it's it's it. I mean, like I I don't know if I can show. It's not coming up without me having to change the aspect ratio on the camera. But it's there's actually a nice texture to it. It actually feels like someone gave a shit about making the label. Um, I just cannot. I cannot say that that this falls within the spectrum, like the mid-range of, of what I've had before, especially from South America, especially from Sauvignon Blancs. In general, I mean, it's just not... It's just not something that's going to make me happy today. And that pains me to say. So, Santiago Station, Sauvignon Blanc. It was worth a shot. Could you use it in something else? Yeah, I mean, if you need a white wine that's that's going to be used as part of a dish, uh, having the floral notes will add some elements to it, but you really don't want a lot of the wine essence other than sort of just uh, like the very basics of that flavor being in there. This might not be a bad thing because then you're not wasting a good Chardonnay. You're not wasting a good Pinot. Uh, Pinot Grigio, you're not wasting a Voignier or anything like that. Uh, within the cooking process, you're you're putting something that's a little bit cheaper into it that will still do its job, but not necessarily overpower or uh, break your pocketbook. So I mean, that's that's something that that you can consider. But um, in terms of like being a solo drinker, um, anything like that, I'm I can't recommend this. I'm I'm just not going to do it. So Santiago Station, you're off my list, man. Sorry. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, if you like the today's video, uh, please let me know. You can subscribe uh, to our channel. Uh, make sure you hit the bell next to it to receive notifications for when new videos are posted. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you think I suck, uh, leave a thumbs down. And please leave comments either way. I'd really love to know what uh, you're interested in me doing in the future. I would love to know uh, what future products and wines and places that you want me to do and review. Uh, so please leave that comments below and I'm more than willing to t take a look at those and respond back and let's have a conversation uh, within the video. So this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime signing off. Sorry Santiago, maybe we'll find something better next time in the Sauvignon Blanc realm. Have a nice day.